morning everybody and welcome back to the channel and a very beautiful day. So what have we got in store today? So you remember a little while ago and I'll show you the video of it going off. My bus was taken to be repaired, fixed <clears throat> and sorted out ready for the MOT. Now A very expensive bill later, um, I'll go through a few items what was done, <clears throat> we'll go through the main issue first. Um, so what we first did, we had an issue with the ECU, sent it off, come back and it worked fine. Parked it outside, started it up and it didn't work. Sent the ECU back, it came back and bottom line it was, it still didn't start and they said there's nothing wrong with the ECU. So I packed up. And the bus got a recovery truck, shipped it off to an Iveco dealer, where they found it was the ECU and replaced it. Now, a new ECU for one of these, uh, one of the three litre sort of diesel Iveco, and for this bus, was £1,500. Luckily, I was charged 799 it was a trade price. Not only that, um, they'd done a service, they put an air conditioning belt on it, there was a... What else? The caliper done. There was loads of stuff done to this. And the bill, a whopping, massive, and heartbreaking £4,200. But, I have to look at it this way. What I paid for the bus, and what I paid out on work to have the bus done, is still a lot, lot less than I could pick one of these up of this age, or this mileage, even now. Um... So I'm still way off of that price. So either way, I've got a good bus, I've got a good deal, but it was just an unexpected expense. Right, so yeah, it's back. It is back and it starts and it runs. Now, <clears throat> if you can see here, when they um, do pre MOT checks, they do things like chalk the tires, the size of tires and things like that. There's all sorts of bits. So <clears throat> they call it a PMR, whatever a PMR is, I think it's a pre-MOT recce, possibly? I don't know. Anybody know what a PMR is? Please leave it in the comments below, because I'd love to know what, know what that means. So this PMR, anyway. And then I booked it in front of MOT, so I picked it up from the um, commercial garage that I had it sent to, and that's a company called Northern Commercials. Brilliant company. Have a look at them. If you've got an Iveco, take them there. They are brilliant, all over the country. So from Northern Commercials, I drove it to the MOT test station, and I drove it in and it was booked under a class four because obviously it's gonna be a camper van and it's no longer a bus. Now, he said how much of a camper van is and he went out and within literally 30 seconds, he's back in and he says to me, I can't MOT it. Now, the reason he can't MOT it was because I took all the seats out of it that made it a bus, so he couldn't MOT it as a bus. And there's not enough of a camper conversion in it where you can MOT it as a camper. So let me go and show you that. So for MOT in as camper, he has to have seats and the table. So the seats need finishing and the table needs finishing. And the other two essential parts that need to be in there to class it as a camper is a bed. Now we got is the rails either side. And the third, the third vital part was a kitchen. Well, what he said was, all it needs is somewhere to cook and somewhere to wash up. So we could effectively build an OSB box, put a um, bowl on there and a portable hob. We could build a quick bed frame, put a mattress on it, and I could finish the seats off and take it back, if we wanted to. But yeah, he said he couldn't classify it. So that meant no MOT. So we've still not got an MOT on it. Um, so it's given me time to get it ready and... But yeah, it's nice to see it back and it's nice to know that it starts and there's not a problem with it because it really, that when it kept doing that, it was really getting me down. And it's quite easily, quite easy to fall out of love with vehicles when these things keep going wrong. And I totally get that because this thing here has tested my patience to the hilt. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll show you, show you some footage of it going off anyway, but it's back. Um, this is a short video, this is a short video, just to let you know what we're doing. 
So now we're going to be cracking on with the build on this and we're going to be splitting our time on two projects at the moment. We're going to be splitting our time on Kong, the bus, and also we're going to be splitting the rest of our time on the horse box, Hetty the horse box, because we've got loads of stuff here ready to go in there. Obviously plastic sheeting, we've got the shower panels, we've got a checker plate, which is also going in Kong. So we've got loads of stuff ready to start fitting. Um, I just wish I had more pairs of hands. I wish I could clone myself. I wish there was more hours in a day. Um, you know, because when you get to the, now it's the exciting bit for me. This is the real exciting bit. Anyway, I'm going to knock off for now, disappear. I want to put this video out because I know I haven't put a lot out lately. As I said in one of my shorts, I am redesigning the channel, adjust it slightly. I will put out a short or I may put out another video and explain to everybody why, what we're doing. Um, because I say the channel is about build, travel, create. It is about that, but I want to explain more how we're going to sort of sort of facilitate that and what we're going to do with things and the future for the channel going forwards. So it is all about the future. And do you know what? The future of this channel is going to go nowhere without you because the channel is not just about me. It is about me doing this, it's about me creating all this content, but mainly it's all about you, uh, my subscribers and the people that watch me, because without you, there is no channel. or well, there is a channel, but for no reason at all. So you are the channel, guys, and thank you. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the way the channel goes forward. And I will explain the changes in another video soon, I promise you. Anyway, that's all I've got time for, so have a good day. I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well. Most of all, as always, I'm really happy. Bye for now.